Ryan. Three taps is me. Don't forget. How are you doing? Got enough air? Not very much. That better? You're sitting pretty. You watch these exchanges between like Rosalind Russell and Cary Grant, and they just go back and forth for, for minutes at a time. Endless streams of crackling dialogue. This will bring us back together again, just the way we used to be. That's what I'm afraid of any time, any place, anywhere. Oh, don't mock me. This is bigger than anything that ever happened to us. Don't do it for me. Do it for the paper. Scram, Svengali. If you won't do it for love, how about money? You know, people forget that, I mean, even Cary Grant was a vaudevillian. Mm. Why, you see that little hand sticking out there? I'll bet that little hand's worth 3,000 quid if it's worth a farthing. Who's a big idiot now, hey? We're rich, mates, we're rich, come on! When the curtain goes up, the first thing you see is a dead body. The next thing... He is this impossibly great-looking leading man, and yet he was great at slapstick, he was great at Pratt Falls, and he was great at sort of mugging. Hey, mister. Joanna is very close to both of you. If by marrying me she damaged her relationship with either of you, the pain of it would be too much for her. I wouldn't know how to deal with that kind of situation. He had that density, like that center of incontrovertible moral authority. If you must play these filthy games, do them in your home! And in African Queen, you see this lovely softness in him as he, he cares for her and, and in the way he expresses himself. Ah, pinch me, Rosie. Here we are, going down the river like Anthony and Cleopatra on that barge. <laughs> it's like a lot of the, um, that older, tougher Bogart. It's still there, but in some ways it's stripped away and you see this, this more vulnerable side of him and I love the scene when the boat gets stuck and he has to get down in the water and he keeps coming up and he's covered in leeches and she's using the salt to get it off and he's just shuddering wrecked and somehow you like him even more oh, there's anything in the world I hate is leeches oh, the filthy little devil story of a stairs that in his first audition they wrote uh, can't act can't sing dances a little I'm stepping out with my baby can't go wrong because I'm in right it's for sure not for maybe that I'm all dressed up tonight I can watch his films and they don't feel dated to me at all in their emotionalism their power to move you is as potent now as it was when he made those films. I think you've got to, as an actor, go back to the silent stars because you can learn things about acting in cinema. It's a medium with the capacity to communicate enormous amounts completely non-verbally. And some of those silent stars were the absolute best at that. Mary, don't anything make a man out of you? You once told me never to take your gun away from you. You whoever. He was sort of the personification of the idea of the American as the rugged individualist. He knew.